Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today episode 4.9 in the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. This episode 4.9 is entitled Lucifer. As everyone knows, another name for Satan is Lucifer, which means the shining one the bearer of light. And here's my comment. Well, yes, it is true. Satan will try to trick us into calling for help from the quote-unquote angels of light, meaning himself. When so tempted, instead call on the angels of Christed love energy. That works quite well for me and may work for you too. Here is an image entitled Lucifer, L-U-Z-I-F-E-R. It's by Franz Stuck in Wikimedia Commons. It's in the public domain. It's rather dramatic, and I believe it quite likely that Lucifer has very little on, so be forewarned about this image. It looks like this. Here he is, with staring, very scary eyes, yes, and to look about him as if he's about to pounce. Don't you feel that? So, Lucifer, L-U-Z-I-F-E-R. It's a spook out, this image. I read in Wikipedia that Lucifer, in its meaning, light bringer, is another name for the planet Venus, which was worshiped as the goddess Inanna, I-N-A-N-N-A -N -N -A, by the ancient Sumerians as the god Atar, A-T-T-A-R by the ancient Canaanites and as the goddess Venus by the Roman religion. I got that from the article Venus in Culture in English Wikipedia. These ancient beliefs, I feel, competed with the Judeo-Christian ethos and came to be demonized, as is often the case when cosmologies differ. I have another image for you, a famous image, called Ishtar on an Akkadian seal. It's by Sailko, S-A-I-L-K-O, that may be the photographer, 25 March 2019. It was in Wikimedia Commons. It's a Creative Commons license. And it looks like this. Here's the comment. Another name for Ishtar is Inanna a goddess of ancient Mesopotamia. Her attributes are love and war, beauty, sex, political power, and justice. She is sometimes depicted with wings and with the feet of a bird, standing on two lions. So the reason I showed you this image of Ishtar very beautiful woman. It's because she may have been the original representation of Lucifer, who is now morphed into an ominous looking male being, you see. And it, it it could be in this case, as has happened in other cases, that the god of one culture overtaken by another culture was demonized in this way. So something that was initially truly full of light and a bringer of light was changed into the bringer of the false light, the Satan type of, of being, through cultural shifts. Here's another take on all this. It's a comment I have on um, the notion of Lucifer according to the school of Theosophy. 
I was reading in Quest magazine recently that the School of Theosophy has what I as a Christian consider to be an erroneous emphasis on Lucifer. That was because of the Lucifer magazine put out by theosophist Madame Blavatsky and co-edited by Annie Besant and later by George Robert Stowe Mead. I got that from Lucifer and in parentheses magazine in English Wikipedia. Uh, to continue with the comment, the author felt that the school of theosophy considers Lucifer to be like Prometheus who, according to Greek myths, defied the gods and gifted humankind with fire and not like the epitome of evil known to Christians as Satan. The article where I got some of this information was entitled Answering Back How to Reply to Slanders Against Theosophy by Stephen Otto in Quest Magazine, Summer 2019, pages 28 to 31. You can look them up online. The title of this image is Lucifer Magazine Cover. 1 September 1887 in Wikimedia Commons. Uh, it's in the public domain and it shows a winsome lad bearing a light, Lucifer. Looking a little sultry or sullen ever so slightly so. Quite a different take on the notion of Lucifer as light bearer. You know, as a light worker, I have my own idea about Lucifer. And it goes like this. I have had contact with the delightful beings of light from Venus, and so I have a first-hand understanding of their loving concern for humankind. And it is upsetting to me that their planet has been, been vilified as an aspect of Satan. I have an image for you entitled Sekhmet Hathor. It was adapted by me and compiled by me. Alice B. Claggett on 4 May 2021 is Creative Commons and it looks like this. On this side we have Sekhmet, the picture of a beautiful woman in her guise as a lioness. Sekhmet. The, and on, the, on this side we have uh, the Hathor, the, the cow-like image of the people of Venus. Both of these images are of the people of Venus who have been misrepresented, I feel, as Lucifer. The credits for this image will be at the end of this video. I have a little more information for you about this topic of the morphing of Lucifer from this to that. It's an article entitled Lucifer how a Decent Deity Got a Bad Rap, Part 1, by Vincent Ziz, 25 February 2020, in The Partially Examined Life. This article can be found online currently at https colon slash slash partiallyexaminedlife.com. And just to let you know, this is a the first of a four-part essay. It's quite interesting. I hope you can find it online. All right, dear ones, this was a bit of a complicated um, episode. We have at the beginning Lucifer as the name of Satan in the Bible. Frequently used as that these days, like a synonym for, for Satan. Uh, then the notion that the word Lucifer means light bringer or light bearer and is 
presumed to be another name for the planet Venus, which is a very good planet in my opinion. And that the planet Venus was worshipped in ancient Mesopotamia as the goddess Inanna, or the goddess Ishtar, who was very beautiful and was in charge of issues of love, war, beauty, sex, political power, and justice. That's a lot of issues. And uh, some good and some necessary and some unfortunate. So then there was the depiction in Quest magazine at the School of Theosophy for um, of Lucifer as a Prometheus-like figure bringing fire or bringing light to humankind. That's a little in line with my own notion of the beings of the planet Venus, um, Sekhmet, Hathor, the lioness, and the cow as bringers of culture and a whole new way of being to the people of Egypt in ancient times. A lot of different ideas about the word Lucifer. Well, that's all for now. God bless you all. Keep you safe and be with you through all your days.